If you go on YouTube right now and search domino tricks, what kind of videos do you think you'll see? Okay, well, the YouTube search algorithm puts the more recent videos first, like tutorials, but scroll for a while and then you'll see videos like 75 domino tricks from 10 years ago, 100 domino tricks from 11 years ago, or the pretty popular 68 domino techniques slash inventions from 12 years ago. Just a decade ago, our domino building community phased through an era of domino trick compilation videos. Just these back-to-back, fast-paced showcase videos toppling large numbers of domino tricks in just a few short minutes. But all of those videos are pretty old. Videos titled X Domino Tricks aren't the trendiest videos in our community today, and builders aren't cranking them out at the rate we did years ago. So where did all those videos go? And why is there no appeal in making them anymore? Domino building is an activity that's been around for many years. It was this global phenomenon in the 70s and 80s where quite a lot of active builders chased the world record for most dominoes toppled. And thanks to the efforts of the Domino Day build teams in Europe across the 90s and 2000s, that world record will now be out of reach for a while. So because of that, domino building culture is a lot more homemade nowadays, with most active builders working through a small YouTube community full of people posting their own personal projects. This slowly growing network of builders has been building together and evolving their build styles for a decade and a half now. So much so that different domino building trends have popped up throughout the ages, with certain designs and video formats taking popularity at different times. As noted before, our little domino tricks videos era happens around 2010 to 2012, and we'll be going more into that later. In the era before 2010, builders uploaded lots of videos with domino rally in the title, with basic freestyle setups compiled into simple videos with no particular theme, no emphasis on tricks or setup sizes or techniques, it was the most basic form of homemade video for a community just starting to take shape, though the Domino Rally series is still ongoing on many different builders' channels today. The era from 2012 to 2015 is particularly hard to classify, but there was a rise in popularity of many modern video formats and traditions like Domino franchise tributes, or community contests, or individually themed setups. So it was the era of modern traditions, I guess, with quite a lot of builders also chasing their personal records. More recently, from around 2015 to 2020, our Domino community has had an era of intricacy. Setups with many risky tricks in sequence, unexpected motions, and weaving paths. Many builders tried their hand at the most complex setups and tricks they could think of, accelerating the capabilities of the Domino art. It's hard to say what influences the trends in our community the most. Maybe it's that builder's style is catered to their build environment. I don't know, just something I've observed. Builders with larger build rooms will attempt larger setups. Builders with multiple surfaces at their disposal will learn to build on those surfaces. I never had a build room with a set hardwood floor, so I learned how to build in tighter spaces and on makeshift floors. And by making physically smaller setups, I taught myself how to fit more tricks into less space. I did all of this just in time to kickstart the era of intricacy, and if I contributed anything to that, it was the concept of compact domino setups and putting as many tricks into as little space as possible. But who's to say a single builder has that kind of impact on an era? <laughs> Maybe I'm just delusional. Our community has always been good at finding the right things about other builders' styles to take inspiration from, and my style with the era of intricacy is no exception. But that phenomenon had already happened before, from 2010 to 2012, when those Domino Tricks videos started to spike. It was a massive trend for a community just a few years in the making. On top of the most viral trick compilations with millions of views today, every small builder in the community seemingly had one posted at one point. I guess it's not that hard to pinpoint what made these videos so widely appealing. I feel like one part of what made making these videos so special was how much they taught you while making them. There's a lot of build knowledge that has to go into a compilation like this. And when you're done, that's suddenly like 75 new tricks you have at your disposal. It was an easy and understandable kind of video format that any builder could take on. Knowing a wide variety of these basic tricks was already a major insight into numerous wall designs, crossover designs, and just knowledge of a domino's toppling physics besides the basic vertical tipping motion. In fact, there were some really popular tricks that showed up in almost every compilation, like slow stones, sauna mod, or the speed wall. Some more difficult ones to learn were pirouette, la ola, fallback, and the domino piano. And then, there were some other ones that appeared a lot that never really had names, like this one, which might have been called Chalkwave, or this shifty one which I just like to call plate tectonics, 
or this nifty little stairs trick. I'm just kidding, that one doesn't exist. But this video format didn't just teach current builders all these new tricks, it was also really easy for new viewers and prospective builders to get hooked on the initial appeal of dominoes falling in more ways than just lines. These videos had new builder appeal. I know this because I first found this community in late 2011, catching the tail end of this domino tricks video era. And that is exactly what inspired me to stick around. In the giant wave of builders that joined this community around late 2011 and early 2012, I'm sure a lot of them got inspired from watching videos just like these as well. But there was one more enticing thing about these kinds of videos. When these videos reached their peak, it felt like one of the main driving factors for our community at the time was to get the highest number of tricks into one video. Sure, the average number of tricks was around 75 or 100, but some community members pushed 125 or 150. These videos rolled through tricks at a very fast pace in an attempt to squeeze in as many tricks as possible, and builders achieved this fast pacing by making these trick compilations into a type of video called the screen link, make the entire domino chain appear connected by having the domino line leave the shot on the right side before coming in on the next shot from the left side. Now the entire trick compilation looks like one continuous domino chain. The screen link format really made these videos engaging because there's never a period of time when lines aren't falling, leaving very little moments where you would lose a viewer's attention. All these components came together to create a near-perfect video formula almost made to cater to prospective builders and help boost channel numbers. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and the domino tricks video trend started to fade away after 2012. It had hooked everyone for a while for the reasons mentioned, but eventually, there was just no more appeal in posting the same 100 or so tricks anymore. A lot of people had a chance to get their trick compilations out, including me, and it was fun to see how other builders did theirs, but it was time to move on. If you're part of a creative online community like the Domino community, it's no surprise to see trends changing over time. New tricks and techniques come up, new materials get made, standards get higher, but the driving objective has always been the same to get the coolest and most creative videos out there. It's been really fun following this community and thinking about the kinds of builds we may see in the future. In recent years, we may have headed into a storytelling era. More artistic, abstract domino setups with narratives and deeper meanings. Maybe not the most trick-filled or intricate stuff you may see, but very coherent setups with projects that flow nicely and blend colors well. Honestly, I love the shift to a more conceptual side of building, and I think we could see a lot of meaningful videos in the next couple of years. Being a relatively young builder, it's hard for me to know and write the entire history of this art form, but it's nice to know the history of part of this community. And the Domino Tricks video era brought about good building habits and a wide berth of Domino knowledge for a new generation of builders. Because even if they aren't worth the watch time anymore, learning these tricks is still a really good stepping stone for developing a style, and a small handful of these simple tricks still appear in some form in large setups seen today. Uploading them in that classic X Domino Tricks format nowadays doesn't make your skill set less valuable, it's just not relevant anymore, and that's normal for trends like these. So this is my personal tribute to an era that's gone but played a really important part in our community's history. Now I'm sure there are a lot more stories about to be told.